The Guardian News. Lord Speaker says Donald Trump could still address Parliament. Donald Trump could still be issued with an invitation to address Parliament during a state visit to the UK after officials revealed that a room in the House of Lords remains an option. A spokesperson told The Guardian that the US President could be asked to speak in a second prestigious venue in Parliament despite John Burkow's extraordinary warning on Monday that he would block any Trump speech in Westminster Hall. They pointed to remarks made earlier on Tuesday by the Lord Speaker, who insisted he would keep an open mind if a request was made, whatever had been said in the House of Commons. A spokesperson representing Lord Fowler, who is also charged with issuing invitations to speak in Parliament, said, the Royal Gallery might be a possibility. The Royal Gallery is a prestigious venue and has hosted guests in the past including President Reagan. Burkow can block a speech being made from Westminster Hall, from where President Obama spoke, but he has made clear he has less say over the Royal Gallery. Sources confirmed that Lord Fowler could allow a speech to go ahead there if he decided it was appropriate. It comes as Burkow faces a fierce backlash from Conservative MPs and peers who are calling on him to consider his position as Speaker after he took the unprecedented step of voicing his opposition to Trump. His comments that the U.S. president's racism and sexism made him unfit to address Parliament won plaudits from Labour and Scottish National Party politicians on Monday who clapped and cheered in the Commons chamber. In his statement to peers, Fowler complained that Burkow had not kept him informed of his actions, I should make it clear that I was not consulted on that decision or its timing. He added that Burkow had said sorry for not informing him in advance. Fowler said it was not up to a speaker to make a judgment on whether Trump should visit or not. My view is that I will keep an open mind and consider any request for Mr. Trump to address this parliament if and when it is made, he said, although he also expressed his own campaigning against prejudice and discrimination, particularly aimed at the LGBT community. In the Commons, Burkow did not apologize when challenged by MP Sir Gerald Howarth about the importance of neutrality. He responded that the decision to bar the U.S. president from Westminster Hall was within the remit of his role and said he was being honest. However, The Guardian understands that at least two conservative MPs have approached parliamentary clerks to ask how to table a no-confidence motion in the Speaker, even though it would be unlikely to pass. By Tuesday evening, a number of MPs had accused Burkow of overstepping the mark by actively snubbing government foreign policy which aims to build bridges with the new U.S. administration. Alex Shelbrook MP said Burkow's job was to be a referee not a player. His position is untenable because he cannot be deemed to be independent and a speaker must have the respect from all sides of the House, he told The Guardian. The MP argued he did not agree with Trump's comments about women, nor his heavy-fisted, inexperienced act of banning travelers from seven Muslim-majority countries. But he said this was not about Trump or Burkow, but about about the neutrality of the position. His comments undermine government policy, he added, arguing that Theresa May had chosen to try to influence American policy by engaging with Trump. He also criticized Burkow for a lack of consistency when he said it was an honor to welcome the Emir of Kuwait a country Fowler said had questionable policies towards gay people, women, and banned Israeli citizens. Others pointed out that the Speaker had appeared happy with China's President Xi Jinping addressing Parliament, despite unrest among MPs about the country's human rights record. The former Culture Secretary John Whittingdale said he had been taken aback by the amount of correspondence from people who were very cross. They don't necessarily sign up to everything Trump says but they don't like the very public attack on him by somebody who is supposed to be neutral, he said. The Tory MP argued that Burkow was speaking for Labour and SNP politicians who applauded and cheered his intervention but not for Conservatives. Even if he does have a strong view, the way you do it is to say to Theresa May, privately, let's save the embarrassment. He by gratuitously making a strong attack has ruled that impossible. Even Nadham Zahai, an outspoken critic of Trump's travel ban that may have affected his own family, was angry with the Speaker warning he had opened himself up to accusations of partiality and hypocrisy. Writing in The Guardian, he urged Burkow to reconsider his position. If we are to make the case to him that it is morally wrong to ban people based on their faith or country of origin, 
and that his order jeopardizes global security, we cannot compromise our ability to do this by banning him from coming to the most famous place of debate and scrutiny in the world, he said. The issue caused annoyance in Downing Street and across Whitehall, although sources played down the impact it might have on U.S. relations. It is understood that the question of an address to Parliament has not come up during recent conversations with key figures in Trump's administration. One source insisted the U.S. president wanted the pomp and ceremony of a state visit and was uninterested in the ultimate establishment act of addressing Westminster politicians.